Oh my goodness! <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just start the episode here. Um, <clears throat> wasn't expecting this, but Xylobat evolved! Alright! Alright, Golbat the Bat Pokemon. Once it starts sucking blood, it does not stop until it's full. Flies at night to search of prey. Oh boy. <laughs> we got a terrifying one. Uh, yeah. I was going around and one of the rare Pokemon in the underground is an Obsol. Uh, let's see what kind of Obsol we got. Hasty nature. Mm, Alright. Super luck for the ability, that's good. Got faint for its unique ability. A knockoff, detect, okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh gosh. There's way too many Pokemon around here. Let's get out of here! Um. So. Uh, yeah, Buizel, you can move out. Maybe you'll heal. I don't know. Uh, in the meantime, I caught several other types of Pokemon, if it wasn't obvious by this look. Uh, there's Magnemite. I've caught two of them. Uh, one of... Uh, uh, one's a brave nature, which wouldn't be that helpful. I mean, I, I guess it helps with Gyro Ball, of all things, but that's pretty much it. I... We have a Pencer female that has close combat. <laughs> Bind, Seismic Tosk, and Bug Bite. So, that's a thing. Unfortunately, the nature's... It's not terrible. It, I wish it was more... It was an adamant, but hey. There's Pokemon that's had worse natures. Uh, I put Mistrevious in the... In here. In, into the box. But we did find a Gastrodon with a bad nature, uh, but it has Storm Drain, which is decent. But it has a it has Acid Armor, which is good about raising defense. It's way better than I think it's. Yeah, it's sharply raising, so it's better than Harden. It has Recover as well, so it it, it can be a bit of a tanky boy. Uh, it's also lower level than what it should be to, uh, from its previous evolution to evolve into it. So, there's that. Uh, a Zubat, I was kind of curious what they would have. Apparently Whirlwind, for his special move. Uh, inner Focus, but has the mild nature, which isn't good for him. Uh, the other Magnemite has Careful, which isn't great either. Uh, Magnemites uh, typically have more special focus. Uh, he has Thunder Wave, Electro Ball, Gyro Ball, Supersonic. Uh, a female Houndoom is another one I found. Uh, their difference from the male is the, the horns on the head are smaller. It has Flash Fire instead and no Smog instead of uh, Taunt. So... A little bit different there. Um, Scaruppy it has a bold nature, which isn't good. Uh, these guys are physical attackers. Um, but it has Poison Tail for its unique move. Uh, and all this other craziness. Uh, Ralts has Mean Look. I don't know how, but it has Mean Look. <laughs> its Rash nature has Trace. Uh, Ghastly has Astonish, Mean Look, Payback, and Spite. It's not too different, and it has Quiet for its nature. A Magby. Uh, Mega Punch, Smokescreen, Clear Smog, Flame Wheel. And it actually, I, when I caught it, it had the Magmarizer. I put it in my, uh, my bag. And, uh, I'm just gonna say, Teddy Ursa, one of the cutest Pokemon. Just saying. <laughs> Love the little dude. Well, dudette in this case. It has Cross Chop, though. <laughs> and I would love to have it, but... Oh, it's got a bold nature. It's such a sad thing. Um, but if anything, I can... Maybe, like, if I wanted to actually purposely try to do stuff, I could... Um, 
breed it and have a Teddy Ursa with a cross chat. So, and, and maybe a better nature. <laughs> uh, Obsol is, a, like I was saying earlier, one of the rare Pokemon that we've run into has hasty nature. Uh, Buizel, unfortunately, bit the dust. Um, Swift, I took that over uh, Helping Hand, which was its special uh, ability it learned. Well, special move that it knew. But, yeah. Uh, let's look at Xylobat's new stats. It's, it's decently faster, honestly. Got a decent amount of defense, too. That's good. Um... I actually have Pokemon that are now faster than Gaslion. Uh, that's sad. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I, also, in the meantime, he has learned Stockpile. Uh, 24... Oh, no. It was either 23 or 24. I forget which level it was. Um, he'll learn Stockpile, Spit Up, and Swallow. I just teach him Stock Up, uh, Stockpile, so he can gain uh, defense and special defense. I, I don't really use... I, I could technically use Swallow, but you lose the stats, and I don't really care for that. And I don't really like Spit Up anyway. Um, and that's a physical move. He's a special attacker, so that's why. Uh, nothing new about Cerberus. Adamantry uh, is the same. His stats are a little bit better after growing some levels. He's a little bit more tanky. Miss Sparkles, she's got ridiculous amounts of attack. <laughs> yeah, these two are pretty crazy, and Xylobot's gaining on that a little bit, not by much. Um, but yeah. I'm not sure if I want... It. I feel bad, because I, I do like... I, Hey, Gasloon. He he he, he, he kind of deserves it after sweeping my team at that point. <laughs> oh, another box. Uh, more. I don't know what type that's supposed to be. I don't think it's dragon. I get. I guess steel. That would make the most sense. Uh... Oh, I saw it, too. Wall collapsed. I haven't been able to buy anything with the spheres yet. Um, ooh, Steelix. Nice. Um... I don't know... Uh, they changed how you actually do... Oh, big... Alright. Yeah, this is a very big cavern. Ooh. Shockwave! Nice! Is that a Bastodon? Or just random rock formation? I can't tell. No, that's not... Bastodon? No, that is a Bastodon. Just looking at the face, I know that's a Bastodon. Alright. It's the evolved form of Shield on. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. One of the um, Onyxes I ran into had a uh, head smash. So that's something. If, if you're looking for a good Onyx, you might want to look at going in the underground. Uh, getting that head smash would be real good for him. Uh, I, as I did look into it a little bit more, it the you start finding more Pokemon, or different types of Pokemon, as you progress through the story. Since we're pretty early on in the story, we're not going to find that. So, that's why. Um, I am... You know what? Yeah. I think this is fine. I... 
we're all all the way on the right side. There are there's another group of three and then a big area on the left. I'm not gonna do that right now. Ooh. Uh, not that it's gonna matter in a little bit. But yeah, let's let's dig here. Oh, secret base. Would you like to go in? Yes, I would. Lucas secret base statue effect. There's no statue. Effect. Okay. Now we've got quite a bit of statues here. We've got two of these guys. Oh yeah, we got a young Mega, which is cool. All right, hold on. I I I just really think it'd be cool to have a Drifloon here and a Drifloon here. And just have have it match it, you know. Um, Miss Magus? I'm not sure. Honchcrow, though. That would be cool. Have a Honchcrow back here. Oh, no, not that. Uh, a normal Honchcrow on this side. Really? Uh, put away. I wonder what those effects are. Uh, let's put a Miss Magus down, since we're doing ghosts, apparently. Um, actually, if that's the case, you can put Frostless on either side here. Do we have another ghost type? We do not. Alright, that's fine. What's the effect? Slightly raises the appearance of ghost types. Okay. Um, I guess there's nothing really else I can do. But, uh, you know what? It's fine. Alright, let's leave. I know you guys are probably wanting me to move on, so uh, let's, let's move on. Alright. Yo, old man, what are you gonna do? You've made your secret base? Excellent. I thought it might be too much to ask him. Here's your reward. Quick balls. Nice. Dust balls, yes. Dive balls. By the way, oh, by the by, Digger Drill can, eh, a Digger Drill can only be used once. If you wish to move your secret base, you'll need to obtain another one. You can use Crate Spheres. Uh... But it's totally empty, is it not? Don't worry, play statues in your secret base as you see fit. But I've done that. Top-notch spelunker, here's your reward. Square pedestals XS. What does that do? You've stuck it out to the end, this will be my final test. Grand Underground tracks a lot of people, you're not the only one down there. Other spelunkers have secret bases of their own. Final test is, is to find someone else's secret base. When you do, make sure you to look inside. So, I, I guess I would actually have to jump in the online version of all this. Alright. Uh, if it's the final thing, uh, fine. I, we'll, we'll finish the episode by beating up Team uh, Galactic. So, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. <laughs> At least I think I can do it. Actually, you know what? I don't think I can. Oh! Hi! Oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay, hello, Lucas. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon and uh, mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like that while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these. They should help you out on your way. TM93s. Oh, what's that? Oh, cut. Okay. Cut is the hidden move app that allows you to chop down small trees blocking your way. Remember, you can use the hidden move cut from your Poketch in the field. It will let you go places where previously unaccessible to you. 
the important thing for filling up the Pokedex, right? Then, luck be with you, young trainer. Bye, Cynthia! Um, yeah, we can't do cut yet, so okay, we'll do this test and then we'll have to do the jump. Alright, fine. <clears throat> I, ugh. So that's when you think you're done. Alright. Uh, internet. Yes. Well, we'll, we'll do internet. This is gonna be a thing. <laughs> yes, I understand I'm connected to the internet. The intrawebs. Uh, all right. Actually, that landed me pretty close on this side. Now, I don't know if there's actually going to be anybody here. Actually, no, it didn't land me here where I thought it was. Oh, I saw things. Oh, there are other people around. All right. Now, I don't know if this... Yo, Dugdrio. Oh, okay, so it's actually carried over. The Lucas has entered the underground. Well, is it talking about me or other people? I, no, I'm fine. Um... I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what to do. Um... Gosh. And here I was <laughs> saying, you know what? Try not to do this again. Ugh. I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, aluminium. Can it be? I can't. I can't talk to it. Um, alright then, I don't know exactly how I would come across doing the hidden base thing, thing. unless I actually was able to do that. Oh, yeah, do not come after me. Yeah, I don't know. I really might not be able to do it. Why does that crow gunk look... Well... I, you know what, I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> Let's just move on. <laughs> Just skip that thought, move on with life, and try- oh my goodness, get out. <laughs> Don't even entertain that thought. Uh, I really don't know what to do. I feel bad. Because I'm like, yeah, I should totally- oh, it's a cherubim. Cherubim. Uh, and these guys, eh, they're not too bad. Well, these gals. Functioning cannot move. Um, ah, yes. <laughs> 
not having any Pokeballs left because I used them all. Because that's how that works. There we go. That's what happens when you're trying to catch a multitude of these Pokemon that just don't want to be caught. Alright. The Cherry Pokemon. Sunlight colors, it's red. When sun the small ball is drained of its nutrients and shriveled evolution is near. Uh, yay. <laughs> yay for weird Pokedex entries. Uh, sometimes, Pokemon, you are really messed up. Held item... Swap held items. Give that to you. So Miracle Seed powers up grass moves. Bold nature. Which actually isn't terrible for you. But you have Seed Bomb and Leafage. Okay. Um... Shanks, Baneary, Badoo. Yeah, I think Cherubim was the more. rare of all the things. Oh, the bar's filled. That's why I was saying something may get, good may happen. Alright. Oh, maybe that's what was going on. Why the underground bar was filling up like crazy. Because that, that would make a lot of sense if it's counting everybody. many Pokemon yet. Some of the ones here can't be found anywhere else, so keep at it. Yeah, she's talking about people it, well, people, what? Pokemon that are, like, Houndoom and whatnot. It, it, Obsol and all them. You know, those super rares. Oh, I almost ran into that Buneary. How about now? Oh, there's another Houndoom. Uh, no. No? <laughs> Don't care for you, Pachirisu. Not at all. Seriously, I'm just trying to... I'm, all I'm really trying to look for is a, someone's secret base, and I'm not finding it. I don't... Uh, I just might, again, that's probably something I'll probably end up doing uh, in my own spare time, because this is just a bit much, because I could seriously probably be at this for hours and there would be really no progress made in that. I don't know where the last one would be, golly. Ain't no telling where it would have been. The one thing they did change is they changed it to small and large rather than, uh... Ooh, a shiny Miss Vegas statue. Um... Oh, gosh. I, I don't know if this is going to be something that... I'm gonna have to do in my own spare time. I probably will, and I'll just show off what the actual end result is. Oh, are you fishing in there? A big mushroom. Oh, it's like a cask. Worm pole. Oh, 
Oh gosh, that pincer ran at me. Okay. You have Hyper Cutter. Alright. You want to be padded? Oh, man. I wish I could figure out a way to actually interact with you. You all like that? Oh, my goodness. Maybe it's through that po the Poketch app. Where it's like checking on the friendliness and whatnot. I don't know. I might be incorrect in that assumption, but, uh, let's do a netball because you're a bug type. <laughs> Make this easier on myself. <laughs> Instead of spending, like, 12 Pokeballs just trying to catch you. <laughs> God, Alright. Nope. Grab that. Alright, that's Bullet Seed. Get out of here. I, I don't care for ya. <sighs> Gotta go through this hole. Craziness. I'm just gonna have to do it later. Sorry that I made a whole nother video on this. Oh. I feel bad. I don't know why, but I just do. It's, I mean, in a sense, it's like, yay, more videos for you guys, because I'm spending so much time doing this nonsense, but, you know, I still feel kind of bad because it's like, Look, you really probably want something else to start happening at this point, but I'm too busy doing this. Well, anyway. Let's go back. Maybe a little bit further down the road we'll, we'll, we'll run into that kind of stuff happening. Uh... First of all, do this and put the pincer up. What is it? It's calm nature, which again is bad, but it has thrash. Alright, well, it's not as good. Alright. Let's hail our Pokemon. We're, we're slowly getting the team. I don't know who it... I don't know who that sixth member is going to be yet. And who knows, I might actually switch out some here and there. I, I don't think I will, but, you know... More than likely, I will not. Also, three heart skills in that whole bit. I also found a meadow plate. There's the Magmarizer. Found a rare candy, so that's something I'm wanting to keep for later. Flame Plate, like we saw what we picked up just a few minutes ago. Uh, I got Swagger, Shockwave, and Cut. Um, which, Shockwave could be incredibly useful. It kind of depends on who I give it to, though. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why some of these aren't. Going on right. But uh 
Shockwave would be a, a good TN to give. I just... I don't know who to give it to. Or just wait. I could possibly just wait. But anyway, that'll be it for this episode. And in the next one, we'll actually start the gym. Uh, I didn't think it was honestly going to take that long to go through all of that. But it did. And I feel bad. Sorry. Um, I thought that was going to be a lot more simple than I thought than it actually ended up being. Um, but once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.